I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw four facts about Labor Day. The first thing I'm going to do is divide up my paper. So I draw a straight line down in the middle and now I'm going to draw a straight line across and stop. Over here, fact number one, Labor Day is always the first Monday in September. Always. Always the first Monday in September. The next box is going to be about unions. Now when I was little I never knew what Labor Day really was and basically Labor Day honors the contributions and achievements of American workers. This goes all the way back to 1894. So over here we're going to draw a circle. Next to it another circle. Straight line down, straight line down, slightly curved line connect. Straight line down, straight line down, slightly curved line connect. On the left hand side we're going to draw a curved line down, connect. Right side, curved line down, connect. Over on this side, left side down, connect. Right side down, connect. Come back over here, curve line out, in on the left, curve line out, in on the right. Jump over, curve line out, in on the left, curve line out, in on the right. Okay, come back over to this one and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line out, little baby curve line, one, two, three curve lines. Come over here and draw a wavy, wavy line, connect, one dot, two dots, curve line in the middle, little straight lines going across, little curve line. Come over here on this one. We're going to do a curve line up, down, connect on the left, curve line down, up, connect on the right. Come inside, one dot, two dots, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, Curve line, little curve line, little curve line. We can put little curve line, little curve line on this one too. Come over here on the top and just draw a wavy, wavy line on the left and a wavy, wavy line on the right. Okay. Now, reunions look out for the workers by making sure they are they're protected their rights are protected and their money is protected. Now what does that mean? The rights way back in the 1890s they used to make people work as long as they could without a break and they wouldn't pay them anything. So the union came in and said that's not right. You need to pay us what we're worth and you need to not work us until we fall over. The players like the NBA and the baseball teams they all have a union but the biggest union right now is the NEA which is the National Education Association and that's teachers. The teachers union has three million members. It's the biggest union right now. Now come over here and put a dot and we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Come on the left side and draw a curve line out, in connect, right side curve line out, in connect. 
right underneath let's draw another curved line up connect come inside curve line on the left curve line on the right curve line baby circle curve line baby circle I'm going to color these in so you can see what we're looking at in the middle straight diagonal out curve line leave it floating because right here we're just going to do wavy wavy line up connect wavy wavy line down up connect let's put a little curve line on the top wavy line down connect wavy line over connect right here in the middle baby circle curve line out up connect on the right curve line out up connect on the left one two little straight lines on the right one two little straight lines on the left curve line off the page on the left curve line off the page on the right that's in the middle come up to the right big curve line over off the page left side big curve line over off the page come up on the left straight diagonal out in out in off the page on the right straight diagonal in out in off the page come over here and just put a little wavy line on the left little wavy line on the right this is president president grover cleveland and he is the person in 1894 made Labor Day a national holiday. Everybody took the day off. Okay? Now come over here and put a dot. Curve line up, over. Come back to the dot. Slightly wavy line over and connect come underneath straight line on the left straight line on the right wavy wavy line connect little curve line on the left little curve line on the right wavy wavy line connect straight line on the left straight line on the right slightly curve line over and connect little dotted lines inside Labor Day also is the end of summer okay now we're going to put some baby circles we want it to look celebratory because people this is when people have barbecues put a dot they say people grill more hamburgers and hot dogs on labor day than any other time of the year put a dot in out in out in out connect if you can put some more stars, that'd be great. Put a dot, in, out, straight lines, in, out, connect. Maybe one baby one right here. Okay? All right. Let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, I'm going to take my red crayon, and I'm just going to underline first Monday, September. Now I come over to this box and I'm going to use my red crayon here. And I'm going to put a little bit of red here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to do my baby circles red. And I'm going to put some red right here for tomato on my hamburger okay next I take blue and I'm gonna do this baseball cap blue okay and I'm gonna put a blue line right here on my baseball players uniform and I'm going to come down here for President Cleveland and I'm going to give him a blue bow tie. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to take my multicultural crayon. I'm going to color in my baseball player with some apricot tan or lightly with my brown. And I'm going to take some brown and I'm going to color in my teacher over here for the National Education Association. Three million union members. Okay. Then I'm going to come down and use my brown on my hamburger on this space and lightly color my hamburger bun here and here on the bottom and I'm going to take my green color this space for some lettuce okay next take my yellow I'm going to color in my starburst yellow because it is a holiday okay and I'm going to give my baseball player a little bit of yellow hair and now I take my gray and I color in Grover Cleveland's hair his mustache and we'll give him some multicultural cramps and I drew this other little piece right here because he was kind of chubby so we'll color these all in then we're going to get a black and color in his suit jacket black. Okay? Pretty easy. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Whoops. I always forget something. I forgot my teacher's hair. I'm doing it black. Now you can color any colors you want. These are the ones that I chose. Now, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my Labor Day squares. Things to remember as you have your end of summer barbecue. Okay, bye-bye.